all your favorite personalities on the beautiful shows that come to our platforms. We have exclusive live sessions on Instagram. Today we're having the current space with Dingindawa Jonah Buyoya and Mr. Costa Mwansa that will be happening at 2030 on our Twitter and our YouTube is always buzzing with exclusive content and full episodes of shows that are on TV and also those that are only glued and put out on our youtube channel now this is a part that i've been very excited to roll out because these are stories and these are clips that i find that show the humility the humbleness the love and the type of person and the character that rb truly was first up was his uh humility as a person he was humble he's a person who loved to keep peace and this is an interview by sophie kenge from bbc in kenya when he was observing elections there let's have a look you yourself went through an election and yeah. uh, you lost the election. Yeah. Uh, you definitely have some advice for the presidential candidates uh, yeah. that are seeking uh, office here in Kenya. Yes, yes. I have had the opportunity to meet some of them and uh, they say that they appreciate that I'm here, especially in view of my experience as having stood for an election as an incumbent president and lost and considered. I felt that uh, I contributed something to my country. If I had not done that at that time, most probably the situation would be different now in our country. So it's worth emulating. So your message to, uh, to, to the them people, is? Please emulate me. Yeah, I know people call me all kinds of names, but I think that I did the right thing. If you want to avoid what happened in 2008, emulate me and accept the verdict of the people. Right. Uh, former Zambian President Rupia Banda, thank Thanks. you for joining us. Thanks a lot, Sophie. Thank you. So that was actually him as an election monitor in Kenya, where he went to monitor the elections that were happening in the year 2012-2013. And uh, Sophie Kenya had asked him the question of him uh, just saying, you were defeated in the election and you went ahead to concede defeat. How do you take that? And because... Being, like I say, being an opponent to Mr. Sata, it's very hard for you to keep your mouth shut. It's very hard for you because he was a very provocative man, as he was. You know, every single newspaper headline, the black cobra or the cobra himself, very talkative. He had ways, he had a way with a tongue, he was slick. And so holding your composure as president and trying your best not to spite back was something that Mr. Rupia Banda will forever be remembered for. Because if I was in that situation and, you know, thinking of how big and how mighty a position presidency is and to be in that situation and still go to monitor elections and be on the ground and be on the lookout and it was a beautiful time you know for for him and even for kenya as a whole he did so much more for countries he was also part of the delegations that helped to end and cease fire in angola as well as represented the united nations council in namibia so his diplomatic deeds and diplomatic ways were definitely felt in the entire region and at the globe as large and that's why the queen herself had written to his Excellency Hagainde Hijilema uh, expressing her condolences to the country and how there's, there's pictures, see, of them as youth, of them meeting, of them, you know, being in a space together. And I would, I would love to be just a fly on the wall to listen to those conversations. But one particular conversation I want to listen to is Martin Luther King Jr. and Kenneth Kaunda. Those pictures are so real to me. Every single time I see it, regardless of how many times I've already seen it, even when we'll be celebrating Kenneth Kaunda, on the day on the 28th i will just be in me i'll be mesmerized at the picture because to think of that time and that's why we need to document this history another favorite moment for me in the media is how he was a peace loving person even in his last days you know the previous elections that we had august 11th where we have our new president, Ms. Akainde Hijilema, our sixth, yes, our, our seventh president, actually, of the Republic of Zambia coming in, and um, Edgar Lungu being the one who conceded defeat. Uh, His Excellency, our former president, the late Rupia Banda, had called both of them to his house, and there are pictures that will be coming up on the screen of him being one to stand in as a peacekeeper. Even beyond that, there's so many more pictures of him, you know, being at the Cathedral of the Holy Cross with Mr. Sata as well as Kenneth Kaunda. So 
it's a beautiful time to remember these people. It's a beautiful time to document their lives. He's a man who was full of peace, a man who wanted to keep sovereignty, to keep democracy running. Because when you think about it, testing power for only three years is something that people wouldn't just let go. But as the people spoke, and even during that time when the political system or the political system and our electoral system as a country wasn't so effective because we were just doing the first past the post system, which means if I get one vote against you, I'm still going to be president. His Excellency just said, you know, it's fine. I did my three years. We brought in the best in development. And even beyond that, he had been working in government behind the scenes as a minister, as a permanent secretary, as a representative, a permanent representative to the UN from Zambia. He did so much in the background that those three years were just the cherry on top of a massive cake. We had seen reports coming in, you know, informing us of him going to seek medical attention in Dubai and so on and so forth. And we were wishing for the best, but unfortunately he had to pass on. I choose to believe that this is not a time to be sad. It is very awful that we are losing forefathers, that this is um, one in that, this is the Supreme League of people in the country where we only have one uh, former president now. But beyond that, His Excellency, the former president of Zambia, Rupia Banda, the late, was definitely a man to embrace. 87 years plus of being uh, an expat, an, an expatriate, and being somebody who's always shown their best for Zambia and representing Zambia in so many ways is something to celebrate. And he was a jokester. He was very, very much a jokester. And just to see how much of a jokester that he was. Let's play this simple clip. When we are the leaders of the opposition are against us, you need to be like, <laughs> 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 I shouldn't have been so simple. <laughs> <laughs> when we are the leaders of the opposition are against us, you need to be like, <laughs> 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 I shouldn't have been so simple. <laughs> 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 That's the one I'm sending to Mr. Sam. <laughs> uh, in Parliament, give me a budget for, for education for the people. Say, no, it will remove you so that we can go to election quickly. That someone will not give you, put one, one, uh, one Malawian quota in the budget. He fought for five years and they were against him. But the people... One of the funniest clips to ever happen, and he handled the situation so, so well. Those are just but a few of the light moments that we shared with the former president of the Republic of Zambia, His Excellency, the late Rupia Bwesani Banda.